Hey kids, welcome to Unit 4, Lesson 1, the theater exercise number 1. We have an investigate and modify lesson. Our first thing to do is run the program and notice the output. Before we do, let's take a look at the code though first. We have an import statement. I'm not going to talk about it in this video. Spoiler alert, this is what exercise 2 is all about. We have a new class, my theater. We're instantiating a new object, my scene. It's from the scene class. We are calling the method play sound. Looks like we're going to play some birds. We're calling the method clear, and that's going to be blue. We're set fill green, remove stroke color. We're going to draw a rectangle. Looks like it's 0, 350, and then my scene get width, and then 50. We're going to pause for two seconds. We have a set fill yellow, draw clips, that looks like some sizes, a draw image, it says house.png, that's a file name, and then some other numbers here. Finally, the theater is calling play scene my scene. Doesn't look like there's any more code. Very interesting. I think this is going to make some little art for us down in this box right here. Let's hit run and see what happens. What did we notice? Well, we got a beautiful little picture drawn here. We have a wonderful little bird chirping over and over. That's pretty neat, kids. I bet you if this whole unit is about drawing images and scenes, that's going to be pretty fun. Let's move on to number two. The draw rectangle uses the width of the theater for the width and 50 for the height of the rectangle. After line 14, print the width of the theater by printing the value returned from the call my scene get width. All right, we have to go to line 14. That's right here. Let's do the print off of the width. So we need a system.out.println. And then we're going to have to call the my scene get width. We should try spelling it right. Don't forget your parentheses. When I hit run now, I should get the width here printed in the console. Let's see if we're right, kids. And you can see we got our 400 printed right there. Let's stop our video. Let's take care of number three. The draw image method has the parameters string file name in X and Y and in size. Find and upload your own image and use the draw image method to display it in the scene. Use the manage assets button located above the theater output window in order to add your image to the scene. This is actually pretty easy kids. Down here at the bottom remember I said "Ooh, that looks like a file name. Well it is. And if we go over to manage assets it'll bring up the assets we already have loaded up. I already went out and found an image here. I found a modern building instead of just a regular old house. I've already uploaded it. All you have to do is hit the upload file locate wherever you saved it to, and it'll bring you right back to the screen. Once you do, note the file name. It has to be called exactly like it, so rename your files properly. You don't want one of those 25 letter random names as your file name. It'll be impossible to spell correctly. Mine's called modern.png. Once it's uploaded, we're simply just going to change the file name, not house PNG. We want modern PNG. When I hit run, I should get my beautiful modern building to appear in our theater. Let's see if it works. It does. It's a little small. I can increase the size and the position. Let's take the size up to 400. In our X position, I just want to go over a little. I think let's take it to 50. This is going to work a lot like a coordinate system. You are split right in half. Let's hit stop, run again. What a beautiful looking building, kids.
key takeaway from this lesson, kids, is first, take a breath. This unit isn't as hard as it looks. It's actually a lot of fun. The second is we're going to be using this theater to combine our drawings, images, and sounds to make short videos. And that's pretty fun. This one just introduced how to upload stuff to our assets and how to manipulate some of the parameters. As we progress through this unit, though, we're going to learn a lot more. Hopefully, kids, this was a good introduction to the theater and you understand what we're going to be doing just a little more. As always, if you have any questions, come see me. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video. See you later, kids. Bye. Bye.